traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted a chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, this is the uh, E-mini chart. Uh, it is a daily chart showing the 61% retracement that we hit here on uh, Sunday night. And if you'll bear with me a second, folks, this is sneezing time of the year, so hold on. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. The old palaverdies are – some days they hit me, some days they don't. And I've been feeling great up until about 30 seconds ago. Maybe it's the principle of being under the gun of the microphone, but I don't think so. But anyway, I'm very impressed with the action here in the Dow Jones Industrial Average E-mini. You'll notice the 382 retracement comes in here at around 33,520. Uh, five, uh, we got down to that level very time out we got down to that level uh, just almost a little while ago and have held it so far that number in the S&P oh dear time out I think it's time to move back to Indiana <coughs> that'll never happen the number in the S&P, that 382, comes in at 41.24. We've been down to 41.32 or something in that area, really doing very, very little. So it's actually holding up pretty good. As I mentioned before, this stuff about the um, uh, debt ceiling is just total baloney. Don't pay any attention to that unless they can't pass it. And that means that that dollar bill that says, in God we trust, is not going to mean very much anymore. And maybe that's what that bond market is trying to tell us. Every day that I do a show here, I always focus on one pattern that should be in everybody's billfold, everybody's safety deposit box, everybody's chain around their neck. That is the 382 pattern. I want you to take a look here at bonds over the last two days. And I do these every day, so it's not a question that I make these up. You'll see yesterday's 382 was right here. Here was today's 382. It's already fallen off the bottom of the page, folks. We're getting ready to break through the 129 level to see a 128 handle. This last one today has already got a $1,500 profit in it. This one had a $2,000 profit in it. That makes very good sense, I would think, wouldn't you? But... Let's take it a step farther. If you remember, we were talking yesterday about crude oil, about crude oil, how it always hit these numbers. And so what we're going to do is to show you what's happening over the last few days. Now, there were smaller numbers in here, but I just want to show you the larger ones because these are the ones that are – wow. I'm very sorry, folks, for the uh, – the nasal congestion, but there's nothing I can do about it. And I was feeling so good up until about 30 seconds ago. <laughs> All right, here's where we are. There was our first 382. There was Thursday's low. Okay, there was the, the, the pullback there on Friday. Look what happened today, folks. This was a two-day correction that stopped exactly to the tick of the 382 of this move right here. I mean, just absolutely perfectly. There's a 382 here, and then the 382 here to the tick, folks. I mean, exactly the number at 7140. We've already rallied over $1,000 here in the last hour. We're already trading uh, substantially above the $72 barrel now. This tells you this market is still very, very strong. Watch these, folks. These are very, very powerful numbers when they come up. 
and they are uh, extremely, extremely accurate. Do they work all the time? No. The only thing that works all the time, I'm not at liberty to give you because um, I don't know it. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Okay, let's take now. You want to see a frustration index? Those of you that uh, I, I appreciate the humor, but yesterday we had a trade set up that we really, really liked. Bear with me a second. I'm sorry, folks. This is terrible. I'm going to do something here at the break and take some Montelucca or something get this cleaned up if I can. This was a trade we have in June hogs. Now, we had a double, uh, excuse me, a tr three drive pattern right here that you don't see. This was the, the 1.618, and we had a really strong rally here to the tune of about um, $1,700. We took a $1,400 out of that because we wrote, we put our stop under the last low here. So we, we bought it right there and got out of it right here. But we had another pattern coming in here. And I was under a quandary here because, you know, you see we have the nice A, B, C, D pattern coming in here, except for two things. One, you've got a big gap here, a danger sign. However, the fact that it didn't fall apart the next day just made a slightly lower low. But as you can see, the 1.27 expansion comes in here at 82, uh, 82, uh, 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 82.95, and today's low was 82.65. But you can see the ABCD measures at the uh, this level here, which is 81, uh, uh, 81.90. So I said, well, well, we'll buy it at 81.90. But that that broke my my rules because mathematics precedes geometry. And that's a that's a mathematical number, and the low was ten cents lower than that, and it's rallied a thousand dollars today, and I missed it. Uh, so I it's just uh, it's sometimes it's a little bit frustrating when you see that, but that's that's the reasoning that behind it. And I spent a good three and a half minutes on the video last night trying to make my mind up whether I should buy it at the 127 or buy it at this. And I said, okay, we'll buy it there and, and risk a point. And, of course, uh, it took, took off to the races without us. So the way that I'll handle this, just like in the crude oil and wheat and all the others, I'm just going to wait and see the first three, two pull back in hogs, and I'm going to buy the little puppies or the little uh, – what do they call those little – those little piggies. God, I'm a farmer. I can't even piglets. And, and then I that's what I will that's what I would do. We had fun when we were kids because we used to ride the hogs. Of course we had two and three hundred pound hogs. Uh, this was my farm, it, our farm. It was a farm of our neighbor, but I would work on the weekends and stuff and it was always fun to play in the pig pen. When you're little, you can do that kind of stuff. Uh, later on, I learned that dating was a lot more fun, and so I, I spent most of my time focusing on that, which uh, served me in a better way, I think, over a period of years. Okay, we're going to have to take a break here pretty soon, and hopefully I'm going to uh, get take some Montaluca, and uh, maybe this will get me uh, moving in the right directions. If you have any questions today, folks, it's 877-927-6648. Um, the first part of the show here... I'm going to go over market conditions as we see them right now, but in the second part, I'm going to go over stuff that I did in the past, what I did wrong and what I did right, because uh, you can always learn from your mistakes, and we could be here forever on the mistakes that I've made. So let's stick together here. Be right back. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network at CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, uh, continuing on with the 382 uh, ideas, uh, you can see here this is the E mini SP from the high we made yesterday, uh, the high that we made today, uh, right after the report right exactly at the 382 and we're still down in that area haven't checked prices recently but it's been uh, very very close to that uh, level uh, all day uh, well at least for those uh, you know there's few hours that we've been there the Dow, the Dow Jones because of Boeing Airlines made a 70 a 61 percent retracement up to the top and since we're talking about Boeing Airlines uh, one of the things that I'm doing for the folks who was in the Las Vegas seminar is I'm picking stocks that are in the news and since Boeing was in the news today I said I'd do hourly charts that way You'll see a lot of the ABCD patterns, and so I, I put the chart up here today for Boeing Airlines, and you can see the, the big ABCD down here a couple days later, and there the news came out today. We make an ABCD exactly at the 61% retracement level, and so that's going to be a, a real interesting one to, uh, to, to take a look at. So let's pay attention to that. And uh, there's a nice gap and sold off most of it, but it's still hanging in there uh, at that same level. So we're going to be uh, keeping a very, very close eye on that uh, also. Okay, now we're going to move on here to go just a little bit farther uh, into these uh, things that we want to look at because I think that they're very, very important. I was following the wheat market, and then of yesterday, the thing that I sent out, to the folks, I sent this to everybody. And in fact, I sent it to, I think I put it in the room here. In fact, I'm sure I did. And this was uh, the basically the wheat market. And as you can see here, we did complete the APCD in the wheat up here at the uh, 670. That's 70 cents off the, well, 67 cents off the bottom, folks. And uh, so far, we've uh, come down into this area here, which is, uh, you know, very, very interesting to see uh, how that's going to work. Okay, those are just a couple, and I had one other one that I wanted to, to mention that we have on our uh, watch list today. Time out one second here. Yeah. Take my breath here. I uh, did the Boeing Airlines. Uh, I did the wheat, and I wanted to do the natural gas because this one has been, um, been doing quite nicely because uh, all of the stuff that we did over the weekend said that the energy markets were getting ready to turn. 
we did all the work on the natural gas, crude oil, heating oil, gasoline, and um, those are, and and gasoline, heating oil, crude oil, and the natural gas. All of them said that they were getting to go higher because we completed these big patterns, and of course we had the gap up Sunday night. And then the markets continue to go, and it's gone all the way up. It's up around ten dollars higher than where we originally said you should buy it. Now, do these always work? Of course they don't. But sometimes you get the odds in your favor, and that's what you're trying to do: is to line those up, you know, to tell you that's where you want to be when you're doing some of these things that you're that you're watching. So I think that's the important thing, you know, to uh, pay pay close attention to. So I hope that helps. Uh, not all of these things are going to work, of course, but uh, when they do work, they work uh, very, very well. Now, we're going to take a quick, a quick trip across the pond over here and take a look at the German DAX because we've completed some really important stuff here in the German DAX as far as pattern recognition. This is, comes from our good friend Alan Smith over in the U.K., and you'll notice that he had this – you can see the symmetry here on the three drive to a top pattern – and the market is going to be gapping out, getting up to that area very, very shortly, most probably uh, in the next day or two. And then we'll see whether it's going to continue uh, or not. As we look at this on a, a little bit shorter time frame, this is what I wanted to show you because that pattern had already completed. And what we're looking at now is the same pattern that we were seeing in the euro. You see that little 135 pattern that is right here? That's a beautiful one, three, five pattern right there. And that tells us that we're most probably heading down into this level uh, right in here. So we're going to be watching this one very, very closely. And I'll tell you the reason why. If you remember yesterday, we were talking about the euro. And I wanted to, because the euro is, uh, well, I'll show you the euro because this has had a huge pattern that is in uh, the process of completing right now. But this is the euro trade that we were watching the other day. You can see the, the 135 pattern looks exactly like what's happening in the German DAX. Okay, and then you can see the move that's moving down like this. There was your 382 retracement right here. So what you're going to see now is uh, the completion of what we're looking at here uh, in the euro as uh, we watch it complete. And I want to get it up here and you'll be able to see it uh, very, very clearly. And it will bring the patterns, um, just jump right out at you, I guess. That's what they do to me. And you'll see as we look at this right here, there's where we are. And uh, we went right down to the, uh, we're not quite filled yet. We want to get filled at this level. And then our game plan is, because remember, this is the big 382 on the weekly up here, folks, up at this 110 and change level. Okay, so what we'd like to do is we want to cover the short here. Okay, that locks in a little over $1,200. And then what our game plan is, is to take this swing right here and move it over. And that'll be right up in here is where you want to be selling the euro again. Because what you'll have right here is you'll have a one, a three, and a five. And so you want to be trading in the direction of the trend. So you want to, like Gartley says, you know, sell rallies and buy the dips. Sell rallies and buy the dips. So that's what we're going to be looking at because this would be a beautiful one, three, five pattern lining up just absolutely perfectly. So I certainly hope that uh, we can follow through with this and see how it works out. But it's got everything going for it that you could ask for. And just for review, I wanted to show you, I've shown this so many times here over the last four or five days, it's probably a little bit boring, but it's never boring to me. And you'll see there is our 3861% uh, retracement. Uh, th this is really, this is a weekly chart, folks. For three weeks in a row, it sets up there at that 110 level and change. It couldn't get to 111. And then, you know, th then last week, you know, we could see it starting to roll over. But you look at this on the weekly basis, it's nothing at all. But on the daily or 60 minute, you know, it's a pretty significant move. So that's what I'm trying to do is to keep myself positioned on the short side. But at the same time, I'm trying to pay myself, you know, for uh, money. That's, you know, give, give myself a few bucks to make sure that they uh, still uh, line up, uh, you know, perfectly. So I, I hope that helps. 
as we uh, see that. By the way, those of you that trade gold, we just hit a 382 retracement in the gold up here at uh, that 1043 level, uh, 2043 level. So uh, sort of pay uh, attention to that because that's been a, uh, in fact, we're trading right about there right now. There's the old 382 right up in there, that 2043. And so that may or may not be a really good one to, uh, to pay uh, close attention to, but it's getting close, that's for sure. Okay, now the other one that we needed to talk about, and just give me a so oh, we got a break coming up. Shut the front door and raise the rent. But uh, when we get back, I want to share a few things in the past of uh, other things that have happened with some of these trades. So we'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back, and I posted a chart here from Alan over in the UK. Uh, this is basically the FTSE, but what I wanted to show you is the beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern here. Uh, that's my go-to pattern, three drive to a top, three drive to a bottom. Uh, when I'm in a uh, what we call a slump, where you have three or four losing trades in a row, I sort of wait for this. We had one in hogs today that I just missed and uh, have a couple others over these last few days that have been pretty good. But those are really nice because you have such perfect symmetry. And when you 
know the number of bars down in the A B leg equal the number of bars down in the C D leg and it sets right at one point six one eight. That that's really mother god and country for Fibonacci stuff because that's uh that's where the final uh, the final game is played right there at that one point six one eight level because once you get beyond that that's telling you that something really, really seriously is wrong and you don't want to stand in front of it. Now, I wanted to go back and since we're talking about the debt cycle and uh, you know past trades and stuff, but I want you to take a look here. Now this is the, uh, I sent this to the folks uh, in uh, the Las Vegas thing because some wanted to see some longer term things and I showed them some bigger ABCD patterns that we've had. But if you notice here, this is the cash S&P here. Uh, back into 2016 and 2014. There's 2014 was right here. This is when Mr. Trump decided to run for president. Here, here it was on the night of the uh, presidency. Uh, that's that November the 8th of 2016. He was a big underdog over in the UK. In fact, he was such an underdog, folks, that uh, anybody that bet on Hillary Clinton winning, they paid them four days in advance. That was uh, uh, Walter Hill, I believe, uh, that one of the the, the big uh, bet bet fair places over there. They were so sure that there was they just paid him early. I in in my wildest dreams, I cannot believe that a bookie would do something. It'd be like an options guy that's almost his options are almost worthless, and he's got four days to go. Why would he sell them at worthless when he's got four four days to go? Maybe they're only worth a penny. I don't understand that. But the key here is if you look at the ABCD pattern that is right here. Now, this is a big one. This is a weekly chart. And then when you got to this spot right here, look at this. You're setting, you're setting right at the 382 retracement of this move way back here. And you're setting at the 61%. This was limit down, folks. Limit down early, early in the evening around 930. It was limit down when uh, he, he had won Florida, uh, but uh, it was he was the uh, no, it looked like he was going to lose Florida. And then it turned around and then the market started to charge higher and higher. And it went up all night. And then, of course, about one o'clock in the morning when the election uh, results came in, it took off. And look, look where it was, folks. This doubled in price from where we are right here. I mean that's that's how far that you know the trend was uh, really you know really moving in the right direction, and we had this really nice beautiful A B C D pattern in here, and look what this happens when it fails. Boom! It gaps up and just continues to go, and you know that's what you got to these patterns when they fail, they're telling you that you're wrong and you got to get out of dodge. You know that's the that's the basic uh, thing of what you're watching here. So. I hope you remember that these patterns do two things. They have predictability within limits, okay, and they repeat over and over again. And that's what you're really trying to do as you look at some of these things. Now, there's a couple others that I, that I think you'll be interested in that I uh, did that I, I've talked about them before. But I, I, this was one of my all-time favorites, and I'll get this up here. This one happens to be Desert Storm, and I want to get this up. Uh, this is a really important one. This is a uh, this is a, just chart of the Dow Jones, and here's here we are. This was uh, 1991. This was in January. We were making. Uh, remember now, this is a long-term chart. So on the daily, it was making a 61 percent uh, retracement right in there, and it was uh, still in an uptrend, as you can see. The ABCD on this said it was going to go up here, but this is all we knew right here. But on that night, uh, which was uh, January. Uh, of uh, 1991, it was a new moon, and so the Navy SEALs went in and planted all the, you know, the super uh, spy stuff that they use for tracing and stuff. And from that level, uh, the uh, price of a crude oil uh, went from $42 a barrel, folks, down to $11 a barrel. That night it was so crazy. Uh, remember, we didn't have all this uh, fancy stuff that you have. We had the computers and things like this, but I had my orders going through an order desk, you know, through uh, uh, Goldberg Brothers in New York. And I asked him. I said, you know, you know, what's the what's the what's the what's the bid? And I couldn't get through for two and a half hours, folks. I didn't get through till almost seven o'clock that night. And when I got the quote, I said, "What's the?" I said, "What's uh, what's oil doing?" And he said, "There's no bids." So I figured it was limit up. I said, "What do you mean there's no bids?" He said, "No, there's no bids." He said, two dollars lower, three dollars lower, four dollars lower. There's no bids." I said, "I don't believe it." 
He says, put an order in. I said, no, I, I, I'm already, I said, I'm already short. I don't want to put an order in. I have a stop in. He said, well, it's not going to get filled right now because it's four dollars older, uh, old, lower. And I said, oh man. So I said, well, put my stop at break even and see what happened. Well, the market uh, opened eleven dollars a barrel lower, and and it eventually went from forty-two dollars a barrel down to eleven dollars a barrel uh, later later that year, and. Uh, and of course, it took off. The Dow Jones on that day, that day of the desert storm, the uh, it left a gap. Um, some sh some uh, programs don't show it, but there was a big gap that day because everything gapped up. Because once they realized that the war was only two days old, and it was already done, that was pretty much it. I, I was a I, I like to follow military stuff, and Norman Schwarzkopf was a big big believer in the art of war by Sun Tzu, which happens to be Bobby Knight, the famous basketball coach from the University of Indiana. It was a great book. And it, you know, it's got a lot of great stuff. Just common sense, you know, like uh, attack your enemies in the darkness of the moon, which means go in during the time of a new moon and things like that. And never prevent your uh, your uh, enemy from making a mistake, you know, something like a little common sense stuff, but it, but it, it's still pretty good. But anyway, that's uh, that was one of my uh, one of my my better moves. I had a uh, one of, on a percentage basis. It was probably the best day uh, that I had had uh, in a in a. Oh, over a period of years, it was uh, percentage wise, it's still the best day because I was heavily involved in it. And uh, it, it really turned out to be a, a really good. Everything was lined up. The crude oil had a three drive to a top pattern. Gold, which was I was also short, had a three drive to a top pattern. And uh, what what was the other one? We had a. Um, uh, a Gartley pattern in the S and P. So those were my three positions. And I, I, uh, my my daughter Jill was going to UCLA at the time, and uh, she uh, she mentioned to me uh, she was helping me in the office. I went to get my hair cut, and so she called over there and she said, "Dad," she said, "Do you still have those positions on?" And I said, "Yeah." And she said, "Oh, Dad," she said, "Don't lose your J job because." This is going to get really bad for you. And I says, what do you mean? She says, don't you have the TV on? And it was 4 o'clock, which was midnight, Baghdad. And so I asked him to change. They were watching one of those uh, Days of Our Lives or the End of the Days or wherever it was. I said, could you put on CNN for just a minute? And they said, okay. And, of course, it looked like fireworks every year. They were lighting up downtown Baghdad. Well, it was a good thing. Anyway, that's how it ends. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee. 
at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, uh, I had to put this chart up of the... Uh, crude oil with the 382 that we hit there a little while ago about two hours ago the exact 382 we've now $2,000 folks we just took out the high of this other level here which was a 1.618 expansion uh, this means that this market's probably getting ready to go a whole lot higher but anyway uh, pay attention to the 382s folks they uh, they're very very valuable I spend a lot of time on the day trading thing that we do a couple times a year here about those because uh they, I've done hundreds and hundreds of them. They're right better than seven out of ten times, but the risk-reward ratio is out of sight. I mean, these things are so accurate that uh, when you're wrong, you're out of there in a hurry. You don't have to worry about it, but that's what you've got to remember, and that's what you're looking at. And I wanted to share with you uh, this other chart that was sent to us by Mr. Stan Harley. Uh, oh, my gosh, this was a couple years ago. I keep it here because I... It's been so amazingly accurate with the geometry and the ABCD. But look at this, folks, going back all these years, uh, how these things line up with the cycles coming together. And if that is, in fact, the high that we made in January of last year, when the Dow Jones or the S&P had 4,500, that means that we're getting ready for something, you know, pretty significant uh, on the downside, you know. <laughs> pretty hard to trade this on a you know yearly chart or anything like that but it does show you that the cycles are there the ABCDs are there and of course this low right here was a 382 at that level I happened to be in Clearwater Florida at TFNN during that time and I remember that very very vividly there was a a few things uh, planetary wise that were happening around that time so uh, that's neither here nor there now I wanted to since we were talking about Desert Storm, I wanted to show you, I keep this chart because it was uh, so uh, important to me. This is the uh, this is the war here in Desert Storm. You can see this is where we were, and then this thing uh, went all the way down. Uh, I don't know how many years it was later, but we went all the way down to uh, $11 a barrel from that level. But there's where we were. It, it, uh, it was a big 1.618 expansion, and uh, I had sold some at 41 and a change. And, of course, we had to broke $11. I covered it the first day because that was a huge thing. And if, I, if I'd have waited another couple of weeks, I'd have doubled my money again. But then again, look at the 382 retracement right here, folks. Look at this. just this absolutely beautiful 382 retracement coming in exactly at that high right here and then from there we continue to go down and down and down so we watch these 382 tracements because they are they are very very important and it's it's a it's a good thing that we we do keep a uh, close eye on them because they give you an edge like uh, you don't get in the many of the other things that you're uh, paying attention to now here is one other one this was one of my this was one of my pro most uh I guess I guess I would call this lucky, but it came at a lucky time because I'd just been divorced, and uh, I was uh, uh, trading on my own. 
uh, I had, and I was working as an expert witness with Eddie Horowitz. This was October uh, the 2nd of uh, 1987, and I bought a bunch of uh, puts. They were really cheap because I was um, I knew that they were going to expire in two weeks, and I thought we were going to take out this low without any trouble. And so I bought puts with a strike price below here. So they were really cheap. Well, they expired on the 16th of October, which was a Friday, and I made a lot of money. Of course, the 19th of October, I would have made mucho kind of money, but I was happy with what I got with that level right here. But on October the 16th, that Friday, the Dow was down 106 points, and my puts were I, – I never in my wildest dreams would have thought that they would be there. And I held them till the very end, and uh, they expired, and uh, well, I, I closed them out. With a with a huge uh, huge profit of uh, six figures, and uh, and was able to uh, send my uh, lovely daughter off to the East Coast to uh, do her medical education. But anyway, you will notice here this happened to be the next day. The most important thing was after the crash. Okay, after the crash on October 19th, which which is an exact 61 percent retracement of the low from 1982 on August the 9th. Not many people picked that up. That was the best buying opportunity of the 1980s was the day of the crash. So even though it was a financial crash and it wiped out a whole lot of people, floor traders especially, uh, that was the best buying opportunity. And uh, from there, we went up to 40000 in the Dow Jones. So uh, these are a few things that I think that uh, make pretty good sense. Uh, but we'll, whether they continue to make good sense over a period of time, I, I'm not sure. But we'll... We'll keep a close eye on it uh, no matter what. So those are the ones that I wanted to cover. And, of course, the, the one was 1985. Um, I believe that was the one. No, that was uh, – I think I've covered that. No, you know, that's on this one over here. I think uh, – nope, that is it. Uh, nope, that was the one. But in the 19 – you know, the 1987 low, I put that up there so many times – it, uh, you know, you remember we had that big bra. Oh, here it is right here. Shut the front door and we'll just take a quick look at it. There it is right here. This was uh, right after I had just started um, the show here in 2007. And uh, I said in the newsletter, this was the thing I said, this is going to be the biggest rally that we've had since 1938. We had this three drive to a top pattern. We're setting at the exact 61 percent retracement. Uh, of the low from uh, 1987, and uh, son of a gun, it did rally, folks. I mean, this was the uh, the uh, dot not dot com. This was the uh, real estate thing. Look at look at this 382 retracement. This is the one right here is when Tom Hugard and I got extremely bearish, and there we came down all the way through here. We missed most of this because I was taking a break after this was done, and then of course when I saw this, I. I thought would have a pretty good rally. I got out of it way too soon, but that's where some of the ones that I've done, you know, through the past. I I hope you enjoy watching those. I like to remember them once in a while. I'd like to show you the ones that I failed at, but this show would go on until nonstop for about two and a half months. But unfortunately, we don't have that time. But I try to get out of them as quick as I can, and uh, that's what you got to do. Is when you're wrong, you just got to stand aside. And uh, not do anything, and you know that's basically really all you can do. So I, I hope you enjoyed that because I enjoyed uh, remembering it, and I think it would be uh, it would be interesting to see how these things, you know, history uh, goes back and look at some of these things, how they're working, and that's uh, the whole key to what we're paying attention to uh, on some of these things. So I think it's uh, very very important to uh, take a look at that. Anyway, this is what we're paying attention to, folks, uh, today. And uh, if you uh, were fortunate, uh, if, you're, if you did that, the uh, crude oil, uh, excuse me, the gold at uh, 2044, uh, put your stop at 2047 and let it rip. Maybe it work, maybe it won't. I don't know, but that's a that's a big A B C D and a 382, and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. And that's what I'm saying, and I'm sticking to it. So if you have any questions, be sure to stay tuned. We'll be back for another hour post-haste. We'll be right back, folks, for a wrap-up.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, you're not going to believe this, but the impossible has happened. Somebody got through on TFNN call-in lines, and it's Jim from Palm Harbor, Florida. Jim, what are you asking about, my friend? Platinum? Real, real quick, I know we don't have time to look at platinum. Um, I want to correct you. Back in 2009, when you called it, we were going to have a great buying opportunity. And I have a VCR tape someplace that says it will be the mother of all short covering rallies. Yes. At that 666. Yes, it was. And, it was a mother of short covering and, rally. It was the biggest bull market of all time. <laughs> you, you hit that one yeah. on the nose, buddy. Um, yeah, well, I got the first three yeah. days of it, and the other 13 and a half years I left for somebody else. So it was a little different than that. But, yeah, I remember saying exactly. it was going to be the mother of all uh, short covering rallies. All short covering sure. rallies. That's quote unquote. Um, yeah, well, real quick, uh, there's an over the counter. It's gone from prescription to over-counter. It's called Astapro. It's a non-steroidal antihistamine instead huh. of taking the Claritin or whatever. Uh, it, it works within 20 to 30 minutes. You ought to try it. It's, so how do you, how do you, um, could you send me an email, Jim? Uh, it's yes, Larry, at, Larry it's at Trading Astapro. Tutor. I'll go get it today. Yeah, really. Uh, um, uh, just call ahead and make sure it's in stock. Yeah. It came off a patent, I believe, October, November. Uh -huh. Because um, actually went to have it refilled, and they said, hey, "Guess what? It's no longer forty bucks. It was like eighteen dollars." Yeah, so I, no, I they, will send you the email, and the next time you're on the air, and I don't know if Basil's coming in today no, this afternoon be, at two o'clock, or you're sticking around. 
I'm going to be doing next the next hour, and then I'm going to be helping Basil while he's gone. I'll probably be doing three shows, uh, probably okay. Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. So I'll be around quite a bit. I'm trying to get things different, you know, showing different things, and everybody doesn't want to see ABCDs, and uh, that's what that's what I look for. But uh, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But thank you for the. Well, how much do we for the medical advice? Nothing, nothing at all. But um, good. When, when you have time, <laughs> it, PPLT is the ETF that trades off of platinum. But it's interesting today that we're, you know, we're we're come we're come pretty strong in the last week and a half on platinum. Okay, thank you very much, and we'll be back, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight.